A day after honoring a Nazi veteran in the Canadian Parliament, giving him a standing ovation and introducing him as simply someone who fought for Ukraine's independence. Now, Canadian Prime Minister has done what he has done best in the past few days, shift the blame to other individuals and other countries. He's uh, said that the speaker has uh, apologized and uh, this is deeply embarrassing for Canadians and for the Jewish people. And the Canadian has apologized that this is an embarrassment to Canada. So the blame first is on, uh, on the speaker of the House of Commons and not on him as the head of the government. And then suddenly he uh, diverts from this issue and says we stand against Russian propaganda, against Russia's disinformation, while the question was about honouring a Nazi veteran in the parliament. Listen in to what Justin Trudeau said. Obviously it's extremely upsetting that this happened. Uh, the speaker, speaker has uh, acknowledged his mistake uh, and has apologised. Uh, but this is something that is deeply embarrassing to the Parliament of Canada and by extension to all Canadians. Uh, I think particularly of Jewish MPs and all members of the Jewish community across the country who are uh, celebrating Yom, or commemorating Yom Kippur today. Uh, I think it's going to be really important that all of us push back against Russian propaganda, Russian disinformation and continue our steadfast and unequivocal support for Ukraine uh, as uh, we did last week with announcing uh, further measures to stand with Ukraine in uh, Russia's illegal war against it. Mr. Speaker, the question was for the Prime Minister, because indeed it is the Prime Minister's sole responsibility to guarantee the diplomatic success of major world leaders who come to this country. It is the Prime Minister whose government is responsible for both security and diplomatic vetting of everyone that comes in close proximity of a foreign leader on Canadian soil, particularly a foreign leader who is at war. The government has now admitted that they vetted everyone who was in attendance uh, that day. Will the Prime Minister apologize for having vetted this individual and letting him come anyway? All right, so I want to go across again to Anisha Mathur, who's joining us from Toronto. Anisha, so we've had a comment now coming in on another issue. But it's, uh, it's very similar to how the Canadian Prime Minister is being accused of uh, responding to situations. This time he blames simply the Speaker and then he goes on to blame Russia for propaganda and disinformation. And that doesn't really in, in many ways show that he's also willing to take responsibility to an extent. Well, uh, we've seen a lot of outrage here okay. in Canada with regard to this particular incident that has happened. The mm. Speaker of the House, in fact, uh, apologized in the House, in the Parliament, uh, while questions are still, of course, being asked about uh, Justin Trudeau and his government as to how this uh, um, incident was allowed to happen at all. Was there any vetting done at all? We, of course, the opposition has... Uh, been very quick to attack Justin Trudeau, questioning why, how a person who has ties to the Nazis uh, was able to, uh, was not only invited but also honoured in the parliament. We've seen uh, uh, people uh, with, uh, uh, from the Jewish community come out uh, uh, in uh, serious condemnation of the Trudeau government. So this is something that has become very, very embarrassing for the uh, Canadian government at the moment. But uh, of course, we saw uh, uh, Mr. Rota, that is the Speaker of the House, apologize in the House regarding the, uh, this particular incident. Okay. But as you just said, it seems to be that now the uh, conversation is being turned towards uh, by Trudeau towards Russia, even as the Jewish communi community here, mm -hmm. even the Quebec uh, uh, leaders have asked for uh, an apology from uh, the Trudeau government and okay. questioned how this was allowed to happen. Okay, so was it Thank simply uh, the, the problem or the mistake, so to say, of the speaker who's apologized? Is it only Russia's propaganda, Indian agents killing Khalistani extremists, or is it as much about the government in Canada that needs to take some responsibility and accountability too? Thank you so much. Anisha Mathur will be tracking all the latest for, uh, coming in from Canada.